Alright. So this is going to be basically me attempting to kill Emerald Weapon over and over again until I succeed. I know it was a huge fail last time, and no, it hasn't been that long since the previous video. I basically just watched a couple strategy things, learned that <clears throat> he won't use the attack that will one-shot you unless his eyeballs are alive, so we're going to take a different strategy uh, <clears throat> to kill him. Okay, so basically what I learned is that he only counters if, or he won't counter Knights of the Round, I'm sorry, he won't counter Bahamut, or he may not counter Summons, I, think, I, I can't remember exactly what the video said now, but he won't counter Limit Breaks and Summons, as far as I remember, and he won't do the crazy ass attack, unless, uh, you have unless all his eyes are alive so as long as they keep the eyes dead shouldn't be a problem um, I think I have a strategy to deal with that
Welcome to the stream. So if I just need to keep his eyes dead, it's the best way to do that. It's the best way to do that.
Welcome to the stream. I'll be going underwater to take on the big ugly green thing in a second. <laughs> this is important for the strategy I intend to use. Let's see if I die this time. <laughs> oh, I forgot to equip the damn underwater materia. Uh, one moment. a major fuck up. She's already full. Let's try that again. Okay, come here, your monstrosity.
Oh, I totally forgot she was gonna try and cast that again. Hopefully that killed the eyes. Or not. should have killed the eyes. Goody. <laughs> Cause he was getting ready to rape my ass. Well, that did about nothing. Oh, we're all gonna die. 
Oh no, Cloud survived, didn't you know? You could have done his attack that I on the right too, damn it. Passing quite an audience tonight. <laughs> they kill the eye, it's gonna kill red. Yeah. <laughs> he did kill the eye though, that's good. Damn it! He <laughs> just does not have any luck. I might as well. attack. You're supposed to stomp on me after I hit you. Five thousand damage, holy shit. I think I changed Red's armor. He's still got a damn crystal bangle on. He's supposed to have him a steel. If you're still in here, I think his total HP is like 600,000 or a million, something that's high. Thank you for using the chat, by the way. You're the one of the few people who interacts with me when I'm playing games.
Oh good, that killed all the eyes. Maybe let me get Red 13 back some of his strength. Damn it, I put that on Yuffie. what I want. selected the game. We'll probably do that again before this happens. Before we're done with this little fight here. And... Cool. So it's gonna get off before he uses the rest of his eyes. Oh, that sucks. Oh well, I'm just gonna cast Phoenix again. Really need to kill those eyes. He's getting ready to use Air Tam. Sweet, I will survive this, at least for another attack.
He's got to be getting close to dead. Oh, there we go. Finally. <laughs> wow. Sweet. Thank you. Thank you. I did it earlier <clears throat> and didn't keep his uh, four eyes dead and he kept one-shotting my party. Uh, Alright, so now we can do something special. We can go to Calm and trade in the Earth Harp we just got for a set of Master Materia. Those will be very useful when it's time to fight Ruby Weapon. With the complications I just had fighting Emerald Weapon, I should probably do more grinding before we go try that. got mastered in that fight. <laughs> oh, a lot of that stuff got a lot of experience. think of what I can do now that won't require me to just spend a whole lot of time in one spot doing very mundane stuff. Okay. Basically, I'm running down here to uh, do a little bit of grinding. There's very specific enemies down here give a lot of experience in your, uh, or not experience, but AP rather.
Oh well. Guess they're gonna... Oh. Just got stuck in that animation because he was waking up. Oh, I'm in a swamp that's inside the um, the crater, and it has the highest AP and experience fights in the game. You basically run into an enemy down here called the Magic Pot. If you give it an elixir, you can then cause damage to it, and they give you uh, the retardedly large amounts of experience and AP. Uh, so I'm down here to master a few odds and end materia, so I can go back up there and get a second set of magic or master magic and master command I think only well, I really only need to master a fire materia and then I'm gonna run back out of here yeah there it is uh, I guess I could spend more time in here but since I'm streaming I'm not gonna spend a whole lot of time in here. happen a little faster.
Ooh, I don't have the escape material on. That was a bad idea. Aha, here they are. So, you basically give each one of them an elixir. And I know may have W item on, but at the moment, I forgot to put it on there. And then, you can kill them. As you can see, a retarded amount of experience and AP. And with the fire material in the apocalypse, that translates into 6,000. Actually, this probably wouldn't be a bad time to try and level up my uh, experience and guild plus materia. There's also another fight in here. I believe the enemies are called movers. Uh, they're basically little red orbs. They don't give you any experience, but they give you 2400 AP for the battle. And there's the fire materia that I needed so that I could do that legitimately. Who had that fire materia? Oh, he did. I'll probably just run out of here now. Do not even remember <laughs> what I had on them. That other double cut material I wound up at.
go ahead and save it just in case I die. Wait, what? Man, those enemy away materia help so much. No, I didn't want to jump down, bitch. You know, the first time you do this, it seems really daunting to, like, crawl all the way down there and come back up, but once you know the cave, it's actually not that bad. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, <clears throat> I actually have Final Fantasy VIII as well. Uh, the only I haven't dipped into the newer ones on uh, Steam yet, like Final Fantasy XIII. I have both of those on. I have all three of the Final Fantasy XIII on the 360. Maybe they'll have it in a sale. I can pick it up. Uh, Final Fantasy VIII is actually pretty fun. At least, in my opinion, because there's... Um, a good bit of areas in the game where you can grind really easily like once you find 
or have access to Cactuar Island in that game, you can basically level your party up to level 99 in just a couple of hours. Uh, the most aggravating part about it is probably trying to find all the magic in the game to get your stats up. But once you have high level magics linked to your character's stats, you're god. Uh, so in terms of combat in the game, it starts out kind of irritating but gets really easy. Especially since your um, critical hits, at least for your main character, are in your hand by, you know, timed attacks, kind of like Mario RPG. Actually, it wasn't that long ago that I beat Final Fantasy IX for the first time. Well, Final Fantasy VIII and Final Fantasy IX for the first time. Uh, a couple of years ago, I, I was like, you know what? I own all of them. I haven't beat them yet. So I sat around and played Final Fantasy... Oh, I can't remember high, how high up I went. I think I beat... 7, 8, 9, 10, and I got really close to beating 12... But uh, something happened to this save file, it got corrupt or whatnot, and I was just like, whatever, 60 hours of gameplay, I'm not starting over. Oh, wrong place, what am I thinking? Now, unless I miss something, I should be able to get another um, Master Magic and Master Command. Oh, there we go.
Awesome. I just have to do that you know, two more times, or one more time at least. I probably won't get another uh, Master Summon because that's just way too time consuming. Okay. I will attempt. I don't guarantee anything, but I'm going to attempt Ruby Weapon. <laughs> I'm gonna get my ass kicked. Gonna get my ass kicked. I suppose if I win, though, it would be nice to have that. Right, my master revive is gone. <laughs> Shit. What else would I like mastered if I win? That's gonna fuck with my strategy. I can't do that. you know any good strategies for fighting him the only one I know of is to kill off your other two party members and leave cloud alone that way you know exactly who's gonna be fighting him
I mean, I saw a few strategies. Uh, one of them is really cool, but I don't have the patience to sit here and master eight mimes and eight counterattacks. Oh right, he's wearing a fucking ribbon. That's not gonna work. Wonder what I can put on him. Other than that, it's just as good. That's what I wanted. Of course it missed. Son of a bitch. <laughs> Fuck.
Oh right, conformer can't hurt people. <laughs> That's funny shit. I wonder if I did that too soon. <laughs> uh, well, that was short-lived. So, sprint shoes, not a good idea. Yeah, that was fast, wasn't it? I just got my fucking shit pushed in. Now I should repeat that. No? Not gonna... Oh, it's not a mastered counter, so I guess... It doesn't matter. Oh wait, will it? It will. Yeah, I'm getting ready to drop some hero drinks on him right now. <laughs> counter mime so I'm gonna mime twice or do that twice that that's pretty useful that means I just got four hero drinks for the price of two oh I can't cast it I don't have enough MP um, oh I guess I'll do wall instead
and he's gonna cast those again. Ow. That fucking hurt. Alright, that won't kill me. I don't care about that. Hit me.
The steel is definitely one of the best armors in the game. No way I could have dodged all that without it. Ow, mother fuck. Didn't that kill you? Oh! This is gonna heal him, but at least it'll keep me out. Actually, it's gonna bring all of my party members to life. That sucks, because then he can do the damn quicksand thing. Why did he cast Ultima? I thought that was only in response to Knights of the Round. He's gonna take Cloud. Oh no! He took Red. What do you know? Oh wow, that's worthless. I was hoping none of those would hit because he's gonna do that Ultima shit again and use a lot of my MP.
Now why exactly am I doing so much less damage to him? If anyone knows that, it'd be a nice thing for you to throw into the chat box. I'm doing roughly half the damage I was doing a minute ago. Oh, I know why. Never mind. It's the lack of hero drinks. No problem. Gonna see how long I can just let him counter mime Omni Slash. You know, this guy must have a shit ton of defense because Cloud's uh, strength is capped at 255. I did enough source farming to max him out so I could do the battle arena easily. And that on top of four or five hero drinks isn't enough to do over 2,000 damage to him each hit in Omni Slash. Uh, yeah, this is still the second attempt. And I think for the last, I don't know, three or four minutes, I've been letting him sit here and uh, counter mime Omni Slash. Alright, I'm gonna have to stop though soon because he's getting low in health. And that one didn't trigger it. Neither did that one.
He's gonna put his hands back in the sand now. Nope. Don't hit me yet, bitch. Which means I can go back into the counter mime cycle. Let him hit me and just continue that. As long as he doesn't land one of those. Whoa, why did he do that? That's gonna suck. Wait, is he gonna attack the tentacles? Hmm, what do you know? Come on, cast Comet. Only hit him with about, I don't know, 10 Omni Slashes or more. He's got to be getting close to dead. Oh, thank God! <laughs> that took forever. Well, the Desert Rose isn't worth a whole lot. It only gets us a gold Chocobo, and if you made it that far into the game, you already have a gold Chocobo. But we can go get it anyway. I think the only side quest left for me to do after that is to master my enemy skill materia. And I'll probably save that for another day.
I'm gonna save it before something stupid happens. <laughs> wow. Well, thank you everybody for watching. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and end it here before I get cocky and mess my save up or something. <laughs> uh, I'll see y'all later.